It's High Noon with David. He's gone and fallen in love with Jesus and bringing boldness to the body of Christ. Here's David. Hi. Welcome to High Noon with David. I'm here sharing some short stories every day about my life and growing up and I, I, I believe it's going to build faith on the inside of you. I'm here to bring you a gift. The gift of boldness. I'm out here in, in, in the bushes with a cold frost this morning. Bundled up. But I have no restrictions of religion on me this morning. I'm going to share my heart with you. I'm talking to two kind of people this morning. Those of you that are about to be born again, saved. Accept Jesus by grace through faith. Whatever you all means the same thing. And I'm talking to those of you that already are. But you're hungry for more. You're hungry to, to become intimate with this creator. That, that recreated you. Made you a new creature in Christ Jesus. Rescued you. Not another religion. But a rescue. I'm sharing... Uh, Day after day, I, I'm, I decided I'm going to go a little longer. Because four minutes just ain't long enough. And I know all y'all are busy and everything. But here we go. You know, I grew up in church. Sunday morning, Sunday service. Sunday morning service. Training union, Sunday night. Wednesday night. Didn't miss family night once a month. If the pastor forgot about it, I raised my hand and he'd grin and say, Oh yeah, this coming Wednesday is family night and that's when they cooked all those casseroles and everybody had a competition on a homemade ice cream and we had a number three wash tub with big old chunks of ice with the coldest pop soda soda water uh, bubba called them belly washers boy they sure was good man and we ate we ate better there than we did at home most days and uh but i tell you in spite of all that and thank God, thank God for the local church. But I'm going to tell you something, we weren't in the Word, and we weren't in prayer, and most everybody in our church was not in the Word, and not in prayer. <laughs> Except, oh Lord, forgive us for all our sins, and bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. That ain't much of a prayer life. <laughs> People say, well, that's better than nothing. Well, <clears throat> yes and no. My brother will tell you, he thought his first name was Dammit till he was 12 years old. <laughs> it's, you know, it's funny, but it's pretty much the truth. And, uh, you know, I was told that's never going to be worth them. And you can imagine the word that comes behind that. And uh, and I heard that so much that I believe that. You know, I was, I was raised in a home with screaming and cussing every night. I don't mean, <clears throat> I don't mean once a month. I mean night after night after night after night. And, uh, you know, and then you get screamed at to go, go to school the next morning and make straight A's. And I'm laying there with my head laying on the desk, s sleeping. That's when I got enough peace to get some sleep. And so the word vision meant nothing to me. Uh, I attended uh, Mississippi State University and was majoring in forestry. And I was flunking everything they threw at me except for bow hunting ping pong and underwater basket weaving because I had a BA when I was attending that university. I had a bad attitude. I ended up in a school out in Oklahoma under a guy named Kenneth E. Hagan. I don't worship the guy. I haven't made an idol out of him, but I respect him highly because he says, he's always said, and he's, you can find him on YouTube and a lot of places. He says, don't take my word for this. But Second Corinthians thirteen one says, Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses let everything be established. And so so I find me some scripture to back it up. And I found out there's a lot of stuff in the church world that ain't got any scripture backing it up. And I'm not interested in that at all. Listen, love you so much. Say this after me. Say, Jesus is Lord. And I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Amen. You're blessed. I'll see you tomorrow for the best 
of the story.